This is Hatchards of Piccadilly, situated on Piccadilly St. James's. Hatchards was founded in 1797, 210 years old, is the oldest bookshop in the country. My name's Roger Katz, and I have the best fun job in the book industry because I am the sales manager of Hatchards in Piccadilly. And my book club selection for you is this book, which is Sweet Francaise by Irene Nemirovsky. This book was the best-selling new novel last year when it came out in hardback. And that's quite remarkable because when you think of it, the best-selling book in 2006 was a book written over 60 years beforehand. The book was written by Ari Nemirovsky in 1942 when she had fled Paris and was living in the French countryside. In 1942, she was picked up by the Vichy police. She was sent straight to Auschwitz, and a month later, she was dead of typhoid. And for the next 60 years, Sweet Frances lay in a small leather case, which had been given to her two little daughters. In 2004, the remaining daughter, who was a 70-year-old lady by then, was asked to give it to the French Institute and she decided she'd better transcribe what they always thought were her mother's diaries and they proved to be two great novellas. The first is about the French fleeing Paris as the Germans invade. The second is about a German regiment descending on a small French village and what happens as various friendships form. But the most remarkable thing about the book and the reason why it's called Sweet Francaise is was her intention was that this would be a suite of five books, like in music, five movements, and the next three books would be associated with this. And what you have in the last part of the book is an appendix where she writes out what she is thinking of doing, how the stories will follow on from one another, and you can actually see a writer's mind at work. Everyone considers the book is a masterpiece, but like all great, great writers and great masterpieces, it's accessible. Very short chapters, five pages each, short books, great stories, beautiful style. And the question you should ask yourself is how come a book written over 60 years ago is still so modern and is still so relevant to what happens today?